Have you ever dreamed of commentating a football match at the World Cup final? Or any match of your favorite team? To have at your fingertips all the statistics you could ever dream of? And to share your expertise with millions of fans around the world? With your foot, you're at the heart of the game. Your commentaries are published in real time, in multiple languages around the world. And you generate effortlessly statistics that are unheard of about all the teams, players, and the match you love. In this video, in less than 10 minutes, you're going to find out how you can become a real football commentator. To begin, let's find a match to commentate. In matches, I can see matches that are live, upcoming, or the most recent results. I can select a match in any of these, or search for a match by entering the home and away team here. I will commentate a World Cup match between Cameroon and Denmark. Here is the match I was looking for. I can see all the information about this match, which is upcoming. I can enter my pronostics, or look for the team squad that are about to compete. The formation is not yet available, since the match commentator will generate this information. So let's commentate this match, play by play, using the Playcom. Simply click Commentaries. We only need one commentator per match, so the commentator is elected by the community. Simply click Apply to commentate this match. I will vote for myself since there is no other candidates for now. Only one vote is necessary to be elected, so in many case, it will be enough for you to commentate this match. The commentator is elected 24 hours before the match. If there's no other candidate until one hour before the match, then the commentator is selected on a first-come, first-served basis. Just a few seconds left. Here we go, I've just been elected to commentate this match. First, let's go over the application interface. At the top, you have a list of all possible football plays, such as match setup, goals, shots, tricks, corner kicks, free kicks, penalty kicks, offside, red and yellow cards, substitutions, injuries, game disturbances, disputable decision, additional time, extra time, penalty shootouts, and match conclusions. On your left, you have the clock and a timeline where all actions will appear. In the middle panes, you will enter all the details about actions. Finally, on the right side, you will see any match commentaries that are published. You might wonder, how do I comment match? There are three ways. You can commentate a match while watching the live TV broadcast, or later with a recording of the match. You can also commentate a match directly on site, at the stadium. Your commentary will be live if you have internet, but you can also download the application Playcom Air, so you can commentate the match without internet. When you reconnect to the internet, the match commentary will be made available online for everyone. We will be releasing an iPhone and iPad application in the fall 2010, so you can commentate a match on-site using your iPhone or iPad. When you open the Playcom, we ask you to choose the rule for the match. By default, we have the rule set that was chosen when the match was created. Here, I have a standard outdoor match with 11 players, two periods of 45 minutes, and additional time. You could also choose among different rule sets, such as beach soccer, indoor, or even your own custom rule set. In custom, you can choose the number of players, the number of periods, the length of a match, and additional time, if any. I'll stay with standard outdoor football. In this step, you get to choose the starting players. Simply choose green for the starting players on the field, orange for substitutes on the bench, red for not playing. The list of players available for the match depends on the players in the team squad. If you're missing players, be sure to add them to the team squad or make sure their transfer dates is indeed prior to the match. As I select the players, you can see the player count goes up until I have selected my 11 players. In this example, I also have 12 substitutes left. I can now position the players. I have the list of starting players I've just selected and I can simply place them on the field. The two top rows are for offense, the three middle rows are for midfielders, the bottom rows are for defense, and the last position is for the goalkeeper. Here, as you place the players, you'll see the formation that is produced. 
When you are done, move on to the away team. Setting up the game usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes. If you make a mistake, don't sweat it. Open the list of players, select the player, and select the correct position. Here, I've completed the away formation. This will allow everyone to see the formation and to rate the player's performances. You can also enter the weather and field condition. In this case, we have a clear sky with a normal field condition. You can even enter the attendance if you'd like. When you click to publish this action, you get a detailed commentary of this kickoff. Notice the list of starting players we've entered. Let me open another browser. I'll show you what someone following the match will see. When I kick off the game, two things will happen. First, the match clock will start. Second, the commentary will be published in real time to everyone following the match. One of the advantages of UFOOD is that these commentaries are published in multiple languages. All of the data you've entered is also used for the team statistics, the player statistics, and the match statistics. For instance, you'll be able to know how many minutes a player has played in a season. The clock is very helpful. Whenever you enter an action, it automatically gets the time from the clock. Here, you also have various options. I can reset the clock to a different time, I can set the additional time, or I can end the period. If the clock is not in sync with the match, you can reset the clock very simply. Select Set the clock and enter the proper time. People are sometimes worried that they won't have enough time to enter all the details for an action. Don't worry. Most actions are very quick to enter. For instance, you see an offside. When you click offside, the time is entered for you by the clock. Now simply select the player offside. That's it. A commentary is generated in multiple languages. It is so easy that in most cases your commentary will be published between 2 to 3 minutes before any other live commentaries on the web. We use push technology to make sure your commentary is delivered instantly to everyone following the match. Statistics for the match are also updated instantly. What a goal! Now, let's select the player who scored. You can easily select him from the list. You can also type his name or his jersey number. You can select own goal if the player scored against his team, but this is not the case. Enter the player who made the decisive pass, and in this case, it was really decisive. You can specify the strength of the shot and how the goal was made. Describe the ball's trajectory. If the player performed the trick, you can specify it here. Enter the scoring zone. You can select one of these options if the ball hits the crossbar or one of the posts. Tell us where the striker was positioned. And finally, the goalkeeper's reaction. A detailed commentary is published. As you noticed, we asked much more details for a goal than for an offside. All these details help build incredibly rich statistics and a rich commentary for the goal. You may have doubts about how to fill a few of these fields, but it usually takes only one match to really know well the interface, and you'll be surprised how easy it is to commentate a match with the Playcom. You'll also find yourself watching football differently, as your eyes will become keen for details you might have ignored before. When a goal is scored, the game has to be reset. This leaves you ample time to enter the details of the action. The replay of the TV broadcast is nice to have when you have any doubts. Also, at any time, you can edit your commentary by clicking Edit located near your commentary. This way, you don't need to have any remorse if you ever make a mistake, because you can always straighten things up. In the Playcom, you can commentate anything. Game disturbances, supporters invading the field, or even a blackout in the stadium. You can also speak up if you find a referee's decision disputable. For instance, we've entered a shot when there was clearly a goal here. Simply drag and drop the disputable action, in this case the shot, and tell us how outrageous you find the referee's decision. When a match is finished, don't forget to confirm the match conclusion. All you need to do is click Match Conclusion, where you can review the game's conclusion. 
Should a team be disqualified or should the match be replayed, you can select special resolution. You'll have all the options you need here. However, in most cases you only need to publish the match conclusion. This should give you solid knowledge to get started on your foot commentating match for your favorite teams. Together, we have the ability and the opportunity to build the largest football database in the world of match statistics and commentaries that we can freely share with friends and the rest of the football community. See you soon on your foot.